All right, welcome to episode three. Once again, the fuel is gone. This is confirmed now. Do not put your fuel in there. Shale is still being researched. Who knows what that does. I've got a log table. I think I got that from one of the guys who died or I killed. I'm sure that will change our lives. That little map there shows what's going on around the world. At this point, I'm like, hey, let's upgrade our base situation. Let's uh, delegate tasks more effectively. We'll have each of them doing something the other is not. We'll see what happens. This is a good way to light up dark places early on in the game if you don't have electricity, is just put down a campfire. Uh, they only cost one wood. Here we are going deeper and deeper. Always on the search for more iron, for more guns. It's like there's a little gem there that I completely ignored. It's that little green glow. back to the base that's a fun part of this game actually like i have so much fun with inventory map i'm not even good at it but it's fun to put things places and where do they fit how do i organize this looks like buddy fell in a hole I'm trying to kill that animal without killing buddy He's not dead. They'll stay like that for a while. If you leave them like that, they will die. More on death later. I was having a big problem with these guys early if they would die or get injured and I'm trying to heal them and they're running around like spazzing around and I'm healing myself and I'm low on med packs and it's not fun at all. In this hole I found some coal and some other things. And let's take the rat for good measure. This is a little view so you can see it. It's a beautiful game. It's, it's really, I love the background. I'm sorry my base looks like crap. So now we've got simple meals being mass produced. And we're searching for a way out. This is the main point of... I don't know if it's the game. Again, just so everyone knows. I haven't played this game. Is this the end of the game? Is there more? I don't know. But we're looking for a way out of this place. And I like carrots. The NPCs will eat carrots too, and if you could harvest enough of them, or plant them, they might just live off carrots like I can. So I've got my new gun, right? I'm like, I'm gonna take on this base. I've... Look, I have a laser. It is not happening. He's got a... Carbine, I believe. And I'm seeing my health go down, and I'm not having it. 
I was down in that hole for five minutes. But <laughs> Here we are at the refinery, and I'm looking at, like, none of that stuff is useful to me right now. But we'll get some hydrocarbons on the docket. Sorry, I didn't even see what that was. Plastic. That sounds good. What can we do with plastic? Maybe we can make plastic armor. It, you need it. You need it for later. So here we're on research. I probably shouldn't have taken Buddy off research. And this is the big thing I've learned. This is how important research is. You have to have research going all the time. This is what makes you stronger. And this is how you beat the game or beat the level. I'm not sure. Here we're just gearing up people a little bit. Let's see how wonky they are. Now we've got a tailor bench. Maybe we can make some clothes. This is where all the cotton goes. And I won't go into depth. I eventually just I just harvested a bunch of cotton. I never grew it again. And it's been suiting me just fine. I didn't get cotton seeds and plant cotton or anything. Cotton is the tailor bench. Cloth. Cloth is everything. Looks like I'm making some other things here, but... Bandages and shirts. That's all aesthetic stuff. Which if I was a different kind of gamer, I would be into, but... I don't care about a blue shirt. I want armor. Starting to get some more supplies. I got sulfur. This rat thing is in our base. I'm still stuck with that stupid little pistol. But it looks cool. Here's me embarrassing myself. But I still got him. I still got him. Got a metal door. It takes the bad guys a minute longer to get through these metal doors. Metal doors, I'm feeling more confident now. That little lock you just saw, I, I talked about it in the last video, but it's cool. It keeps them from, keeps your guys from Falling in holes. Got a lot more meat. Here's my... <laughs> trying to keep the raiders out. Here's a little more concrete, right? That'll keep them out. There's the bird. You can see I'm not very good at shooting birds with a handgun. You can eat the berries. That's all you, you can just run out and get food. You don't need the special food. Shotgun. The, shot <laughs> the shotgun works. I'm inspired. 
Oh no. I didn't even get the other one. Here's just some nice killing snakes. The snakes drop acid. And acid becomes valuable later. Or immediately if you're good at the game. I've I've played about an hour ahead of this. See all that cotton there. You could get more, but I've been able to make a ton of stuff with just this cotton I got, and I, I never replanted anything. So this is as far as I've gone, and that's why I'm showing you the whole journey, trying to meet people. I'm thinking I need more people at my base, and there's a bunch of them. Always got to reload. Oh, look, Mushroom Kingdom. I never got down a mushroom. Maybe I should have. Maybe I will. Is there something special I can research with the mushrooms? I don't know. And I met this guy. And he sells overpriced sculptures. And I cannot afford them. So I'm looking at what can I sell? Do I have anything to sell? And you could do this if you're real big into wanting his artwork. You can sell. You can make something and sell it. You can make a bunch of clothes. You can make a bunch of guns. You can sell the raider's guns. I'm just not inspired. They don't care if you take their things, but I didn't take them. Maybe I should go back and take that. All right, going on with our gun. I don't want that person. We've got a lot of people at the moment. It's pretty funny what happens to them later. And here, this is huge, right? I'm, I'm still low on materials. Sorry, I'm giving away what happens. All right, we're, we're exploring this new cave. What's in here? This is proper. People always say it's like RimWorld and something else. It's not like RimWorld because the people don't care about each other. I always want to compare it to Minecraft. Like, look at this. How is this not Minecraft? I'm in a mine and I need to build ladders. And I need lights. Actually, you don't need lights. There's a little light around you. It's not like my... Look at that light, though. The flashlight is so fun. Look at that. I'm finding crystal ore and slate. I have no idea what these things are used for at the moment. And I'm trying to get these things hanging. these uh, stalactites. 
but they're just aesthetic. Aesthetic. Here's a monster. I'll just chop him up. Med packs coming in. Again, salves come from maybe more plants than ferns, but I think ferns are at least 100%. You'll get a salve. Here's me testing out. Are those things anything? These are stalagmites. I went to elementary school. Copper. Whenever I think of copper, I think of electricity. And it holds true for this game. Iron. Glorious, glorious iron. And here I go deeper into this thing, just trying to find what I can. It's not, like, I mentioned it in the first video, the glow is nice. Eventually, mining gets boring, but when you're finding something you need, it's fun. And I'm, I'm going deep. I'm like, screw it, I'll work my way up later. I'm just getting what I can. I'm very excited about this. Coal. Cool. Now I won't have to worry about the generator. I believe that hard stuff, what's it called? Marble. It's a little tougher to get through. Iron, sulfur, oh, this is like gold. Just call it gold. I'm so happy to have all this stuff. Especially the iron. The little sparks are so nice. You can see I don't have any lights. It's light enough. It's light enough. This is me striking oil. Oh my gosh, I'm so desperate for these materials. I don't have a lot of me mining videos. But this moment was very special. I've got too much, and this is where I learn. Is it? Is it here? Yeah. Do it. Do the trash thing. See that little trash icon? My inventory's full. What do I do? Trash! I've never found a use for sticks to this day. Meat, we've got plenty of it. Sand, who cares? A door, whatever. Seeds. 
you could harvest the whole earth and get rid of your seeds and you'd never have another plant, but I'm not worried about that right now. I found a mystery. Got my flashlight. Basalt. Shale. Iron. There's a bad person. <laughs> Go away. And I'm gonna spend a little time here. In the past videos, it's, I'm not getting masses of any of this stuff. This place is rich. And that's so fun how the guy can get in one square. He can wedge himself in between one square. You'll see it sometimes. This is me trying to get out. I need ladders. I guess ladders or rope would work. I don't even know how to make rope. It might be in my crafting table, but Ladders work too. Poor chicken. Uh oh. Raid warning, and I am as deep in anything as I have been at this point, and this is when this happens, right? Alright, let's see how this goes. The last guys killed me, and it wasn't too bad. You'll have to wait to the next episode to see what happens. I'll upload it tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like and subscribe.